By now, you're probably aware that Emma Watson is an intelligent, beautiful, talented, gosh darn smoke show of a woman. A lot of people like to say that perfection doesn't exist, but they're what I like to call closed minded bigots who haven't seen the perks of being a wallflower. Recently, news organizations and social media are exploding over the fact that Miss Watson was cast as Belle in the upcoming Beauty and the Beast film. My reaction to this was. Usually, I'm the first person to advocate against live action movies based on originally animated forms of media, ergo Dragon Ball, Street Fighter, and literally all of them, but I want this one. I want it bad, especially after reading Watson's dating. It almost feels surreal that I'll get to dance to be our guest and sing something there. My six-year-old self is on the ceiling, heart bursting. She's, she's adorable. Even when she absolutely deserves everything in the world possible, she somehow still feels like the underdog. But apparently still, the beast has yet to be cast in the film, and to whatever lucky guy that gets to slow dance with Emma Watson instead of me, that bastard, and play the part, should remember that you're basically playing playing a human horn bear who inflicts Stockholm Syndrome on a library nerd. It may be my favorite Disney movie, but we have to admit that the Beauty and the Beast is a glorified story about kidnap, slavery, and domestic abuse. But love and stuff. He loves her, he wants to be with her. So cute. And if they're still trying to find a dude to play the Beast, I must remind them that they need to find someone strong, someone brave, but also can show that he has a heart. I'm talking about me. Here's my audition tape. Uh, hey, studio people. It's me, William Haynes. Uh, uh, today I'd like to audition for the character the Beast. It'll take me just a moment to get into character. Oh! Ah! I'm a beast. I'm mad, cause I'm the beast. You better not touch that rose, girl. I'ma cut your neck off. If it runs out of petals, I'ma die. I've, I've never felt this way before. I'm a beast. I, I think I'm in love with her. What should I do? Throw her in the dungeon. Get in the dungeon, girl. Ah! Where guest on at? He trying to swoop in on my smash? I'm the beast. I'm scared. Boo. I love you, beast. Yeah, I know, I'm the beast, everybody loves me. Ah! Miss Potts, wake up, I'm thirsty as hell. I'm the beast, I'm the prince or something I used to be. Wake up, look Miss Potts, it's your son. There, oh, I'm sorry, ooh. Miss Potts, it's your son, wake up, wake up. Wake up, why are you still a child? So here's the part where I turn back into a handsome human man. It's just a uh, real simple, simple costume change. Oh, I'm a handsome human man now, no longer the beast. Beast, I love you. I love you too, cause I'm no longer the beast and I'm handsome now. All right, well you didn't have to, you could just say no. You know, just keep an eye out for my reel. Have your people talk to my people. But in all seriousness, this may actually be a great film to see. The story deep in its rudiments is about two characters who are alienated from society, one for being a nerd and one for being ugly as hell. And because of that, they find true serenity in each other's company after he yells at her and throws her in the dungeon a whole bunch. So what do you guys think about this movie and the casting so far? Will you go see it? If the household items have been alive for decades, why do you think that teacup still talks like a kid? Let me know in the comments down below. My name is William Haynes. Why do you think the talking candle is trying to bang a, a feather duster broom thing the whole movie? It's just, you know, a lot of questions unanswered. All right, Disney.